Once you've downloaded the app onto your tablet, when you open it up, you'll get the title page. It's important to note that the Discover Point Lobos app was not designed to be used directly at the reserve, but rather as a pre or post visit, or for those that can't attend the reserve in person. Like all tablets, if you swipe left or right, you'll move to the next page. So using your fingers, swipe right, you'll get the table of contents. This is a very summarized table of contents. You can always get a more comprehensive one by tapping anywhere on a blank spot on the screen. So I just tap over here to the right somewhere. You'll see down at the bottom we open up another table of contents. The icon in the far left is the species cards. The three bars are this table of contents that we're looking at, and then there's a map. If you slide across the bottom, put your finger on the slide and move it across, you'll see you can go to a particular part in that part of the, the tablet. Tapping on anywhere on the screen brings you back to the table of contents. So, how to use the app if you need to do that. If you don't know how to do that, ask any 10-year-old and they'll let you know. The Discover Point Lobos app has two levels to it. The top level that we're looking at here has lots of information, including some games, the history, the rocky shore, and various things of that nature. Underneath are the species cards. The species cards are used to interact with the upper level, and there's about 94 different cards that explain the various plants and animals that can be found here. Let's tap anywhere on the screen to bring up the table of contents down below. And in the far left hand bottom, you'll see the small bird icon. We'll tap on that. This brings up the Point Lobo species book. The species book, if we slide through it to the right, directions how to use it, and various items that are in here. For instance, the acorn woodpecker. The acorn woodpecker, if you take a look at here, has some information about a description and fun facts, behaviors, and the uh, scientific name of the acorn woodpecker itself. It's a consumer, an omnivore, and it's terrestrial. If you tap on any picture, it enlarges for a better look. Tap on it again, anywhere in a blank spot, goes back. It also tells you what the acorn woodpecker eats. If you want to take a look at what those are, tap on the first box, and it turns out to be a termite. After taking a look at this, the arrow up at the top right takes you back where you were with the acorn woodpecker. Swiping right takes you to the various cards that are available here or tap anywhere in a blank spot, bring up the slider down below, put your finger on it, and slide across the names of the various cards appear so you can go directly to them. So if you wanted to see the elephant seal, stop there, it'll bring up the elephant seal. Again, if you tap on the picture, it'll enlarge. To exit the species cards, Click the X in the top right hand corner. It'll take you back to the table of contents in this case, where we can slide into the next page that explains how to use the app. There are awards that you can receive from various games. It'll be displayed here if you do that. There's a wonderful Discover Point Lobos welcoming video narrated by Dr. Sylvia Earle, which I encourage you to take a look at. And then an explanation and a welcome to Point Lobos. This will tell them what to expect when they get here or what they should be looking for when they return next time and how to respectfully enjoy the reserve. Goes on for a couple of pages, explains how to use the species cards, and then some welcoming. As you go through this, it explains the various different ecosystems that we have at Point Lobos and an um, interactive map that you can touch on and bring up for larger looking at and tap on it again to replace it. Slide across and you'll see the first 
uh, trail game that we have here. This is the Granite Point Trail. We have three trails that we selected to play along with the app. An overview here, how to play the game, a uh, close-up view of the actual uh, trail itself, and some stuff that they might see on this trail. This is a sea otter that gives them an explanation of what a sea otter has. Sliding across on that bottom bar with your finger will rotate the otter and bring up information about the otter as you go through this. Sliding across to the next page, we start the trail game. On all these trail games, we have eyes, which are informational items. If I click on the top eye, it brings up some information about Cannery Point. Click the X to return. It also has various pictures that you can enlarge to take a look at what you might see at this particular point. If we look at the cannery over here at uh, Big Dome, a big picture, click on it again to reduce it. We also have a little icon with a ranger with a hat on it. Those are short videos. If we click on one of those, it'll bring up an Ask a Docent. What's the difference between seals and sea lions? And it tells you that Rick will have your answer. If you click on Docent Rick has your answer, you'll bring up the video of Rick explaining the difference. It will have an audio with it on the actual app itself. If we touch on it, we can come back here. The game also has some blank areas here in the shape of various plants and animals. For instance, at the very top, you'll see a, a white outline of a bird and I think we know what that is, but if we touch on that bird at the top, it's gonna to bring up, who am I? Drag the correct card to the box. This is where we use the species cards to help us play the games. Using your finger to slide across the possible various different selections to go in here to make a selection, you'll find one that you might wanna use. In this case, as we know, it's the Brant's Cormorant. Take your finger to the Brant's Cormorant, slide it up into the question mark, and sure enough, it is the correct one. The picture will appear, and you get an award over here, a little sticker. That appears back there on the awards page. Close that with the X, and we can do that with the various other things on this trail. As we go through the trail, more potential information about the trail and other animals to discover, and other pictures as well. If we slide all the way through the Granite Point Trail, it takes us to the next one, the Cypress Grove Trail. Let's click on an open space on this and go back to the table of contents. Clicking on the three bars at the bottom. We also have other information in here. We have uh, Point Lobos hab habitats. We have uh, history, rocky shore, underwater explorers. Let's take a look at Point Lobos history. That's the top box on the right-hand side. If we touch on that, it goes directly to Point Lobos history. Some information about the history of Point Lobos, starting with A.M. Allen. Do you know that when you hiked past a cypress tree or through a meadow at Point Lobos, you could have been walking past someone's garage or through a living room instead, but Mr. Allen put an end to that. Sliding across, more information about the background of the history of Point Lobos and information about it being a artist paradise. Sliding through this, again, if you touch on any picture, you'll get an enlargement. So if I touch on the top right-hand picture, we can get a better view of what that is as well. Tap on it again to reduce it. Kim West Weston did a wonderful uh, video and narrative to uh, some of Weston's photographs here at the bottom uh, right, that does require an internet connection to look at that. Here's some information about the geology of Point Lobos. We sip through this, many things, including our trace fossils, where our beaches came from, our funky features of the Carmelo Formation explained to us by Mr. Ed Clifton. Again, there's a ranger with the hat. That means if you click on it, let's touch it. It will bring up an ask a docent question. Docent Ed has the answer here. If we ask for that, his video comes up. Click on it to close it, and we'll move on. 
There's some simple games, the rock out game. If we ask strange round rings made by mineral deposits, what is that? Well, it's probably concretions. Match found. Moving along. Whaler's Cove time machine. This is some information about the history of Point Lobos going way back and some of the commerce that was conducted here as well, including some of filming that was done. The Rocky Shore is another uh, game that can be played. This Rocky Shore has information about the uh, tide pools and uh, tide pool hunt. There's things hiding here in the kelp forest that if you drag them over here, you can uh, learn what they're called. Eyes on the tide, some more information about our tide pools and some wonderful pictures and explanations as well. Some of the games in the app are simple and some are more complex. Tide pool game here shows you who lives in a tide pool, similar to the trail game where you click on the empty spot and find out which animal it is or plant. We also have the food web game where a certain animal is depicted and you have to find out which animal this particular creature eats. So again, using your finger to slide through the species cards at the bottom, you'll have to connect the explanation with the particular picture down below. So tiny food source of many sea creatures. You'll need strong muscles to open my blue shell. Well, let's see, that's probably a California mussel. Let's slide the mussel up into this and see what happens. Yep, that's correct. And if you fill them all in, you'll get an award over here. You can reset the game by pushing this brown button on the right-hand side. Reset. And a new game comes up. If you have a game you don't want and you want to try a new one, hit New Game, the green button. And there are other choices that come up for the tide pool. Sliding across this, Balanced Ecosystem. This is a more complicated game where you have to keep your tide pool balanced. We have things eating each other here. And so the, uh, the ecosystem needs to be balanced with the uh, chart that's over here on the right. This one's a little more complicated for uh, kids a little bit older. If we slide over here, we have the underwater explorer. We have information about underneath the waves at Point Lobos, which most people don't get to visit. Some great videos there, explanation of how you drive underneath and uh, what you might find underneath in Bluefish Cove. Again, these pictures can all be enlarged as well. I would like to call attention to the fact that this app was funded by the Point Lobos Foundation and over 20 Point Lobos docents contributed to the making of this app as well as some of the state parks personnel as well. If you look at the credits, we'll click on an open space and go to the table of contents, credits, you'll see a list of all those people who did contribute to the making of the app and our thanks to our sponsors who in fact paid for getting it done as well. So I hope you take a chance to go through the Point Lobos app, play some of the games and get familiar with the information. The text is written so it can be understood by anyone from seven years old to 107. So enjoy the app and uh, please enjoy Point Lobos as well. Thank you very much.